He was the most extraordinary man I ever knew. Did you know him well? I knew him. Well, nil nice I bone him. But did he really deserve a place in here? Lord Allenby, could you give me a few words about Colonel Lawrence? What, more words? The revolt in the desert played a decisive part in the Middle Eastern campaign. Uh, yes, sir, but about Colonel Lawrence himself. No, no, I didn't know him well, you know. Uh, Mr. Bentley, you must know as much about Colonel Lawrence as anybody does. Yes, it was my privilege to know him and to make him known to the world. He was a poet, a scholar, and a mighty warrior. Thank you. He was also the most shameless exhibitionist since Barnum and Bailey. You, sir, who are you? My name is Jackson Bentley. Ah. Well, whoever you are, I overheard your last remark, and I take the gravest possible exception. He was a very great man. Did you know him? No, sir, I can't claim to have known him. I once had the honor to shake his hand in Damascus, Knew him? No, I never knew him. He had some minor function on my staff in Cairo. Michael George Hartley, this is a nasty, dark little room. That's right. We are not happy in it. I am. It's better than a nasty, dark little trench. And you're a big, noble fellow. That's right. Ah, here is William Potter with my newspaper. Hey, Arthos. Thanks. Would you care for one of Corporal Hartley's cigarettes? Ta. Is it there? Of course. Headlines. But I'll bet it isn't mentioned in the Times. Bedouin tribes attack Turkish stronghold. And I'll bet that no one in this whole headquarters even knows it happened. Who would care if you did? Allow me to ignite your cigarette. Sir? Mr. Lawrence? Yes? Flimsy, sir. Thank you. You do that once too often. It's only flesh and blood. Michael George Hartley, you're a philosopher. And you're balmy. Oh! It damn well hurts. Certainly it hurts. Well, what's the trick then? The trick, William Potter, is not minding that it hurts. Oh, by the way, if Captain Gibbon should inquire for me, tell him I've come for a chat with the general. He's balmy. He's all right. Lawrence. Yes? You're supposed to be... Do you usually wear your cap in the mess? Always. You're supposed to be on duty, aren't you? Where are you going? Mustn't talk shop, Freddy, not in the mess. Matter of fact, I'm going for a powwow with the general. I'm not asking as your superior, Lawrence. I'm asking as the secretary of this mess. We don't want chaps in here who should be on duty. Where are you going, please? I must say, Lawrence. Sorry. You're a clown, Lawrence. Ah, oh, well, we can't all be lion tamers. <laughs> It's an intrigue, right? And I do not propose to let an overweening, finicking, crass lieutenant thumb his nose in his general officer commanding and get away with it. It doesn't sound as though he'd be any great loss, sir. Now, don't try that, Dryden. Right? Hmm? There's a principle involved. There is indeed. He's of no use here in Cairo. He might be in Arabia. He knows his stuff, sir. Knows the books, you mean. I've already sent out Colonel Brighton, who's a soldier. And if Brighton thinks we should send them some small arms, then we will. But what more do you want? There would be no question 
of Lieutenant Lawrence giving military advice, sir. By God, I should hope not. It's just that the Arab Bureau would like its own man on the spot, sir, to, uh... To what? To make our own appraisal of the situation. I may as well tell you, it's my considered opinion and that of my staff, that any time spent on the Bedouin will be time wasted. They're a nation of sheep stealers. They did attack the dealer. And the Turks made mincemeat of them. We don't know that, sir. We know they didn't take it. Storm in a teacup, right, in a sideshow. If you want my own opinion, this whole theater of operations is a sideshow. The real war is being fought against the Germans, not the Turks. And not here, but on the Western Front, in the trenches. Your Bedouin army, or whatever it calls itself, would be a sideshow of a sideshow. Big things have small beginnings, sir. Does the Arab Bureau want a big thing in Arabia? If they rise against the Turks, does the Bureau think they're going to sit down quietly under us when this war is over? The Bureau thinks the job of the moment, sir, is to win the war. Don't tell me my duty, Mr. Pike. Lawrence, sir. Tell him in. Good morning, sir. Salute. If you're insubordinate of me, Lawrence, I shall put you under arrest. It's my manner, sir. Go on. My manner, sir. It looks insubordinate, but it isn't really. Now, I can't make out whether you're bloody bad mannered or just half witted. I have the same problem, sir. Shut up. Yes, sir. Now, the Arab Bureau seem to think you would be of some use to them in Arabia. Why, I can't imagine. You don't seem able to perform your present duties properly. I cannot fiddle, but I can make a great state from a little city. What? Themistocles, sir, a Greek philosopher. I know you've been well educated, Lawrence. It says so in your dossier. You're the kind of creature I can't stand, Lawrence. But I suppose I could be wrong. All right, Dryden, you can have him for six weeks. Who knows? Might even make a man of him. Come in. Yes, what is it all? Navy signal, sir. The convoy will be in port side tomorrow night. Is that certain? Yes, sir. There doesn't seem to be any artillery, sir. But there must be artillery. Sir, this is something of an expedition. He has to get to Yenbo, find a guide, find the Arabs, and then get back. He can't do that in six weeks. Two months, sir. Three. All right, three. Now, will you let me do some work, Mr. Dryden? Thank you, sir. I'd like to say, sir, that I am grateful for this. Shut up and get out. Sir, how can I fight a bloody war without bloody artillery? How did you do it? You might better ask why I bothered to. Because I'm the man for the job. I just wonder about that. Of course I'm the man for the job. What is the job, by the way? Find Prince Faisal. Good. And when I found him? Find out what kind of man he is. And find out what his intentions are. I don't mean his immediate intentions. That's a kind of bright business, not yours. I mean his intentions in Arabia altogether. Oh. That's new. Where are they now? Anywhere within 300 miles of Medina. They are Hashemite Bedouins. They can cross 60 miles of desert in a day. Oh, thanks, Dryden. This is going to be fun. Lawrence. Only two kinds of creature get fun in the desert. Bedouins and gods, and you're neither. Take it from me. For ordinary men, it's a burning, fiery furnace. No, Dryden. It's going to be fun. It is recognized that you have a funny sense of fun.
here you may drink. One cup. You do not drink? No. I'll drink when you do. I am Bedu. Truly now, you are a British officer? Yes. From Cairo? Yes. You did not ride from Cairo? No. Thank heaven. It's 900 miles. I came by boat. And before? From Britain? Yes. Truly? From Oxfordshire. Is that a desert country? No. A fat country. Fat people. You are not fat? No. I'm different. First, I take you to Lord Faisal, then you give it to me. Take it now. Bedou food.
Beto. Ouais. From here to Lord Faisal's camp is Harith country. Yes, I know. I am not Harith. No. Hazimi of the Beni Salim. <laughs> the right foot in tight. Lock it with your left foot. Then when you are ready to go, hit her on the shoulder and say, hut, hut, hut. Hut, hut, hut. Ah. Today will be difficult, but tomorrow, good riding. I think we reach Mastura well tomorrow. Yes. And from Mastura well to Lord Faisal's camp, one day more. Now. Mm. It's all right. This is a Harith well. Uh, the Harith are a dirty people. Petu.
Who is he? is dead. Yes. Why? This is my well. I have drunk from it. You are welcome. He was my friend. That? Yes, that. This pistol yours? No, his. His? Mine. Then I will use it. Your uh, friend was a Hazemi of the Beni Salem. I know. I am Ali ibn al-Kharish. I've heard of you. So, what was a Hazemi doing here? He was taking me to help Prince Faisal. You have been sent from Cairo? Yes. I have been in Cairo for my schooling. I can both read and write. My Lord Faisal already has an Englishman. Yes. What is your name? My name is for my friend. None of my friends is a murderer. You are angry, English. <coughs> he was nothing. The well is everything. The Hazimi may not drink at our wells. He knew that. <coughs> Salam. Hut, hut, hut. <coughs> Sheriff Ali! So long as the Arabs fight tribe against tribe, so long will they be a little people, a silly people, greedy, barbarous and cruel, as you are. Come. I will take you to Faisal. I do not want your company, Sheriff. Wadi Safra is another day from here. You will not find it. And not finding it, you will die. I will find it. With this. Good army compass. How if I take it? Then you would be a thief. Have you no fear, English? My fear is my concern. Truly. God be with you, English.
As I walk along the Bois Boulogne with an independent air, you can hear the girls declare, he must be a millionaire. You can rum ti tum 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 I'm the man who broke the bank at Monte Carlo. I've been waiting for you. Did you know I was coming? I knew someone was coming. Faisal told me. How did he know? <laughs> Not much happens within 50 miles of Faisal that Faisal doesn't know. I'll give him that. No escort? My guide was killed at the Matsra well. Turks? No. An Arab. Bloody savages. This is Wadi Safra, isn't it? Yes, they're over there. Now, just a minute. What's your name and who sent you? Lawrence. I've been seconded to the Arab Bureau. Oh. And what are you to do for the Arab Bureau? Well, it's rather vague, sir. I'm to appreciate the situation. <laughs> well, that won't be difficult. The situation's bloody awful. Their morale, if ever they had any, which I doubt, the Turks knocked out of them in front of Medina. With how it says, they're fading away by dozens every night. What I want to say to you is this, that wherever you are, and whoever you're with, you're a British serving officer. And here's an order. When we get into that camp, you're to keep your mouth shut. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I understand what you're saying. You'll make your appreciation and get back to... Oh, my God. Not again. <laughs> I've told him. God knows I've told him. Move south, I've said. You're still in range. They simply will not understand what modern weapons do. Lieutenant Lawrence, sir. Seconded to the Arab Bureau. 
This is a bloody mess, sir. We'll have to move south. Yes, yes, Colonel. Fifty miles south. You were right and I was wrong. We must take some thought for the wounded. Well, we can take care of them at Yenbo, sir. If they can get to Yenbo. Well, they can hardly come with us, sir. No, they must try to reach Yenbo. Uh, Lieutenant... Uh... Lawrence. You understand, Lieutenant Lawrence. My people are unused to explosives and machines. First the guns, and now this. I don't need a servant. No? We can do everything. Light fires, cook food, wash clothes. Yes, everything. I don't doubt it. It will be very nice for you. I can't afford it. Recite then as much of the Koran as may be easy to you. God knoweth that there be some among you sick, while others travel through the earth in quest for the bounties of God. Others do battle in his cause. Recite therefore as much as may be easy and observe the prayers. This will be best and richest in the recompense. Seek ye the forgiveness of God. For verily, God is forgiving, merciful. Greetings, Ali. My lord, Sheriff Ali. Uh, Lieutenant Lawrence, you have met Sheriff Ali, I think. Yes, my lord. And now, Selim, the brightness. By the noonday brightness, and by the night when it darkeneth, thy Lord hath not forsaken thee, neither hath he been displeased. And surely the future shall be better for thee than the past. And in the end shall your Lord be bounteous to thee, and thou be satisfied. So. <clears throat> yes, Colonel. I want a decision, sir. You want me to fall back on Yenbo? Well, you're not doing much good here, sir. I'm sorry to rub it in, sir, but we can't supply you here. You could supply us through Akaba. Akaba? <laughs> well, if you can get a hold of Akaba, sir, of course we can supply you. But you can't. You could. You mean the Navy? The Turks have 12 inch guns at Akaba, sir. Can you imagine what that means? Yes, I can imagine. Put that out of your mind, sir. The Navy's got other things to do. 
Oh, yes, protecting the Suez Canal. The one essential sector of this front is and must be the canal. You can see that so surely. I see that the canal is an essential British interest. It is of little consequence to us. I must ask you not to speak like that, sir. British and Arab interests are one and the same. Possibly. Ha! Ha! Upon my word, sir, you're ungrateful. Fall back on Yenbo and we will give you equipment, give you arms, advice, training, everything. Guns? A modern rifle for every man. No, guns. Artillery. Guns like the Turkish guns at Medina. Yes, give us guns and keep the training. Your men need training far more than guns, sir. <laughs> the English will teach the Bedou to fight? We will teach them, Sheriff Ali, to fight a modern mechanized army. In the... Yes, Lieutenant. What do you think about Yembo? I think it is far from Damascus. We'll have you in Damascus, and never fear. Have you been in Damascus, Mr. Lawrence? Yes, my lord. It is beautiful, is it not? Very. That'll do, Lawrence. Dreaming won't get you to Damascus, sir, but discipline will. Look, sir, Great Britain is a small country, it's much smaller than yours. Small population compared with some. It's small, but it's great. And why? Because it has guns. Because it has discipline. Because it has a navy. Because of this, the English go where they please and strike where they please, and this makes them great. Right. Yes. Mr. Lawrence, that will do. Lieutenant Lawrence, sir, is not your military advisor. But I would like to hear his opinion. Damn it, Lawrence, who do you take your orders from? From Lord Faisal, in Faisal's tent. Old fool! Why turn from him to him, their master and man? My lord, I think, I think your book is right. The desert is an ocean in which no oar is dipped. And on this ocean the Bedou go where they please and strike where they please. This is the way the Bedou has always fought. You're famed throughout the world for fighting in this way, and this is the way you should fight now. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry, sir, but you're wrong. Fall back on the Yenbo, sir. And the Arab rising becomes one poor unit in the British army. What is this to you? Lawrence, do you know you're a traitor? No, no, Colonel. He is a young man, and young men are passionate. But they must say their say. But wiser people must decide. I know you are right. Very well, sir. When shall we move? The sooner the better. You'll lose another 50 men tonight. You tread heavily. But you speak the truth. I will give you my answer tomorrow. And now, uh, it is late. Colonel Brighton means to put my men under European officers, does he not? In effect, my lord, yes. And I must do it. Because the Turks have European guns. But I fear to do it. Upon my soul, I do. The English have a great hunger for desolate places. I fear they hunger for Arabia. Then you must deny it to them. You are an Englishman. Are you not loyal to England? To England and to other things. To England and Arabia, both? And is that possible? I think you are another of these desert-loving English. Dati, stand up. A Gordon of Khartoum. No Arab loves the desert. We love water and green trees. There is nothing in the desert. No man needs nothing. Or is it that you think we are something you can play with? Because we are a little people. A silly people. Greedy, barbarous, and cruel. What do you know, Lieutenant? In the Arab city of Cordoba were two miles of public lighting in the streets when London was a village. Yes. You were great. 
nine centuries ago. Time to be great again, my lord. Which is why my father made this war upon the Turks. My father, Mr. Lawrence, not the English. But my father is old. And I... I long for the vanished gardens of Cordoba. However, before the gardens must come the fighting. To be great again, it seems that we need the English... or... Oh. What no man can provide, Mr. Lawrence. We need a miracle. Akaba, from the land. You are mad. To come to Akaba by land, we should have to cross the Nefud Desert. That's right. The Nefud cannot be crossed. I'll cross it if you will. You? It takes more than a compass, Englishman. The Nefud is the worst place God created. I can't answer for the place, only for myself. Fifty men. Fifty? Against Akaba? If fifty men came out of the Nefold, they would be fifty men other men might join. The Hawitat are there, I hear. The Hawitat are brigands. They will sell themselves to anyone. Good fighters, though. Good? Yes. There are guns at Akaba. They face the sea, Sheriff Ali, and cannot be turned round. From the landward side, there are no guns at Akaba. With good reason. It cannot be approached from the landward side. Certainly the Turks don't dream of it. Akaba's over there. It's only a matter of going. 
Ahmed. And where are you going, Lieutenant? With 50 of my men. To work your miracle. Blasphemy is a bad beginning for such a journey. Who told you? Ali did. Why not you? You are falling back on the Yes. Yes, I must. But I will spare these to you. Did Ali break confidence to tell me? Sheriff Ali owes you his allegiance, my lord. Yet you did not tell Colonel Brighton. No. But since you do know, we can claim to ride in the name of Faisal of Mecca. Yes, Lieutenant Lawrence, you may claim it. But in whose name do you ride? I caught them. They had practice. They were here. I caught them. Why are you here? Boy. To serve Lord Orange, Sheriff. This is true, Orange. They do wish it. You have been tracking us. You were told to stay. No, Sheriff. Our camel strayed. We followed her. She led us here to be Lord Orange's servants. It is the will of Allah. Blasphemy. Don't do that. No, no, Orange. These are not servants. These are outcasts, parentless. Be warned, they are not suitable. They sound very suitable. You can ride with the baggage. These are not servants. Aye. These are worshippers. Orens, mm -hmm. one shilling every week. That is fair. Each. <laughs> no, that is too much. All right. They will be lucky for you. Allah favors the compassionate. There is the railway.
And that is the desert. From here until the other side, no water but what we carry. For the camels, no water at all. If the camels die, we die. And in 20 days, they will start to die. There's no time to waste, then, is there? I was thinking. You were drifting. Yes. It will not happen again. Be warned. You were drifting. It will not happen again. water is wasted. From now on we must travel by night and rest while it is too hot to travel. A few hours each day. Why don't we start now? No, we will rest now. Three hours. Fine. I'll wake you.
we rest here? There is no rest now short of water or runs. On the other side of that. And how much of that is there? I'm not sure. But however much it must be crossed before tomorrow's sun gets up. This is the sun's anvil. Have we done it? No. But we're off the anvil. Thank God for that, anyway. Yes, thank you. Orans, I do not think you know how you have tempted him. I know. We've done it. God willing. When do we reach the wells? God willing. Midday. Then we've done it. Thank you, Moritz. Thank you. Orens. Gas him. What's happened to him? God knows. Why don't you stop? For what? He will be dead by midday. We must go back. What for? To die with Gassim? In one hour comes the sun. In God's name, understand. We cannot go back. I can. Take the boy. If you go back, you kill yourself is all. Gassim, you have killed already. Get out of my way. Gassim's time is come, Marenz. It is written. Nothing is written. Go back, then! What did you bring us here for with your blasphemous conceit? Hey, English blasphemer! Akaba! Was it Akaba? You will not be at Akaba, English. Go back, blasphemer! But you will not be at Akaba! I shall be at Akaba. That is written in here. English! English!
is written.
فراج ال اورانس ترولي فور سام مان ناثينغ از ريتن انلس ذي رايت ات نوت ال اورانس جاست لارنس ال اورانس از بيتر ترو your father to just mr lawrence my father is sir thomas chapman is that a lord a kind of lord then when he dies you too will be a lord no ah uh, you have an elder brother no but then i do not understand this your father's name is chapman ali He didn't marry my mother. I see. I'm sorry. It seems to me that you are free to choose your own name then. Yes. I suppose I am. Well, Lawrence is best. All right. I'll settle for El Lawrence. They are the robes of a sheriff of the Bani Waj. Yeah. <coughs> Very fine. <laughs> Great honor. The honor is to us. Salam, sheriff. Is it permitted? Surely. <laughs> He for whom nothing is written may write himself a plan. Salam. 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 They are good for riding. Try. What are you doing, Englishman? As you see. Are you alone? Almost. Are you with that party of dogs who are drinking at my well? Yours. I'm out of Abu Tai. I've heard of another man of that name. 
What other? The Auda I'd heard of wouldn't need to summon help to look after his wells. Uh. <laughs> he must be a great hero. He is. He wouldn't refuse water to men coming out of the great Nefu desert. Now, would he not? Hmm. No, that must be some other man. Here's my help. Son, what fashion is this? Harith, father. What manner of Harith? Ibn Waji Sharif. And is he Harith? No, father. English. <laughs> Son, they are stealing our water. Tell them we are coming. Tell them. Empty that. Do not! It is Auda of the Hawitat who speaks. It is Ali of the Harith who answers. Harith. Ali. Does your father still steal? No. Does Oda take me for one of his own bastards? No, there is no resemblance. Alas, you resemble your father. Oda flatters me. You are easily flattered. I knew your father well. Did you know your own? Oda! We are fifty. You are two. How if we shut you down? Well, then you have a blood feud with a Howie Tart. Do you desire it? Not the generals in Cairo, nor the Sultan himself desire that. Call off your men. No, no, boy. This honors the unworthy. I've only just begun to teach him. And what are you teaching him today? Are we a tough hospitality? Be not clever with me, English. Who is he? A friend of Prince Faisal's. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. So, you desire my hospitality? Yes. Is it your tongue? We do desire it. Oh. Then it is given, if you will take it. <laughs> I am at my summer camp, a poor place. Well, to me, it seems a poor place. Some men find it marvelous. Tomorrow, maybe, I will allow the Turks to buy you friends of Faisal. But, dine with me. Dine with Alda English. Dine with a Hawitat Harith. It is my pleasure that you dine with me in Wadiram!
this thing you work against Akabam, what profit do you hope from it? We work it for Faisal of Mecca. The Harith do not work for profit. Well, if it isn't a man to be a servant, a Sharif Ali, he could find worse masters than Faisal. But I, I cannot serve. You permit the Turks to stay in Aqaba? Yes, it is my pleasure. We do not work this thing for Faisal. No. For the English, then? For the Arabs. The Arabs. The Hawitat, Ajili, Rala, Beni Sakha, these I know. I have even heard of the Harith. But the Arabs? What tribe is that? <laughs> They're a tribe of slaves. They serve the Turks. Well, they are nothing to me. My tribe is the Hawitat. Work only for profit. To work at Aldo's pleasure. And Aldo's pleasure is to serve the Turks. Serve? I serve? It is the servant who takes money. I am Aldo Abutai. That's Aldo serve. That's Aldo Abutai serve. <laughs> I carry 23 great wounds, all got in battle. 75 men have I killed with my own hands in battle. I scatter, I burn my enemies' tents. I take away their flocks and herds. The Turks pay me a golden treasure, yet I am poor. Because I am a river to my people. <laughs> Is that service? And yet now it seems Auda has grown old and lost his taste for fighting. It is well you say it in my tent, thou tulip. Yet this is a tulip that the Turks could not buy. Why should they wish to? Now, I will tell you what they pay me and you will tell me if this is a servant's wages. They pay me month by month. One hundred golden guineas. One hundred and fifty, Alda. Who told thee that? I have long ears. And a long tongue between them. A hundred, a hundred and fifty, what matters? It's a trifle. A trifle which they take from a great box they have. In Aqaba. In Aqaba? Where else? You trouble me like women. <laughs> Friends, we have been foolish. Aldo will not come to Aqaba. No. For money? No. For Faisal? No. Nor to drive away the Turks. He will come because it is his pleasure. Thy mother mated with a scorpion. May God, your agent, Aqaba! God be with you. God be with you.
Yes, Akaba. Tomorrow we will go and get it. Do you think we shall? Yes. If you are right about the guns. <laughs> He killed, he dies. This is the end of Akaba. One of our men murdered one of ours. Why? Theft, blood feud, it makes no matter why. Ali! It is an ancient wound. I didn't come here to watch a tribal bloodbath. It is the law, Orens. The law says the man must die. Hmm. If he dies, will that content the Hawitat? Yes. Sheriff Ali, if none of Lord Alder's men harms any of yours, will that content the Harith? Yes. Then I will execute the law. I have no tribe. And no one is offended. Cassie. Did you do it? What ails the Englishman? That that he killed was the man he brought out of the Nefut. Ah, uh, it was written then. Better to have left him. It was execution, Orans. No shame in that. Besides, it was necessary. You gave life, and you took it. The writing is still yours. Come on, 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 come on,
miracle is accomplished. Garlands for the conqueror. <laughs> Tribute for the prince, flowers for the man. I'm none of those things, Ali. What then? Don't know. Facts. My God, I love this country. But. Don't hold an act about! Don't be That's a pity. Ali, you get a message down the coast to Yenbo. Tell Faisal to find boats, any boats, and bring the Arab army here to Aqaba, quickly. And you? I'm going to tell the generals in Cairo. Yes, cross Sinai. Come on. Sinai? Yes. With these? They'll be all right with me. Look, Ali. If any of your Bedouin arrived in Cairo and said, we've taken Aqaba, the generals would laugh. I see. In Cairo, you will put off these funny clothes. You will wear trousers and tell stories of our quaintness and barbarity. And then they will believe you. You're an ignorant man. There is no gold in Aqaba. No gold. No great box. Did Auda come to Aqaba for gold? For my pleasure, as you said. But gold is honorable. And Orange promised gold. Orange slide. See, Alder. The Crown of England promises to pay 5,000 golden guineas to Auda Abu Tai. Signed in His Majesty's absence by me. In ten days, I'll be back with the gold. With gold, with guns, with everything. Ten days. You'll cross Sinai? Why not? Moses did. And you will take the children? Moses did! Moses was a prophet and beloved of God! He said there was gold here. He lied. He is not perfect. Lord, can we not rest? I told you no rest till they know that I have Akaba. You two slept in beds. Farage? Doubt? With sheets? Tomorrow, the finest sheets in the finest room in the finest hotel in Cairo. I promise. Then it shall be so, Lord.
پدر فر نولا دست Ride west, we must strike the canal. Do west. Why do you walk? But why, Lord? Orens! But why, Lord? There's room for both. It serves no purpose. Oh, 
fence. It's all right, Farage. It's all right. You taken him in there, sir? Yes. How do you think you're going to, Mustafa? Uh, we are thirsty. Mr. Lawrence, is it? Yes. Are you going to the office bar, sir? Yes. You can't take him in there, sir. What do you think you look like? glasses of lemonade. This is a path of British officers. That's all right. We are not particular. Lawrence! Are you off your head? No. Oddly enough, I'm not. Now, look here, Lawrence. Just clear out of here, will you? Go on, Lawrence. Clear Get off. that boy out of here. Corporal! Oh. We'll have this one out anyway. Clear off! Clear off! Sir. Get that boy out of here. Yes, clear off. Come on, oh, get the little oh, walk out. What's going on? It's Lawrence, sir. Lemonade with ice. Well, explain yourself. We've taken Akaba. Taken Akaba? Who has? We have. Our side in this war has. The Wogs have. We have. He likes your lemonade. You mean the Turks have gone? No, they're still there, but they've no boots. Prisoners, sir. We took them prisoners, the entire garrison. No, that's not true. We killed some. Too many, really. I'll manage it better next time. There's been a lot of killing, one way or another. 
cross my heart and hope to die, it's all perfectly true. It isn't possible. Yes, it is. I did it. You'd better talk to Allenby. General Allenby? Yes, he's in command now. Murray's gone. Well, that's a step in the right direction. First, I want a room with a bed, with sheets. Yes, yes, of course. It's for him. Right. You want a bed yourself, don't you? See Allenby first, though. Will he see me? I think so. Do that, then. I'd better shave. Yes, you had. You'd better get into some trousers, too. Undisciplined. Unpunctual. Untidy. Several languages. Knowledge of music. Literature. Knowledge of... Knowledge of... You're an interesting man, there's no doubt about it. Who told you to take Akaba? Nobody. Sir. Sir. Then why did you? Akaba's important. Why is it important? It's the Turkish route to the canal. Not anymore. They're coming through Beersheba. I know. But we've gone forward to Gaza. So? So that left Akaba behind your right. True. And it will be further behind your right when you go for Jerusalem. Am I going for Jerusalem? Yes. Very well. Akaba behind my right. It threatened El Harish and Gaza. Anything else? Yes. Akaba's linked with Medina. Do you think we should shift them out of Medina now? No. I think you should leave them there. You acted without orders, you know. Shouldn't officers use their initiative at all times? Not really. It's awfully dangerous, Lawrence. Yes, I know. Already? Yes. I'm promoting you, Major. I don't think that's a very good idea. I didn't ask you. I want you to go back and carry on the good work. No. Thank you, sir. Why not? Well, I... It's... Uh, let me see. I killed two people. I mean, two Arabs. One was a boy. That was... Yesterday. I led him into a quicksand. The other was a man. That was... Before Akaba, anyway. I had to execute him with my pistol. There was something about it I didn't like. Well, naturally. No, something else. I see. Well, that's all right. Let it be a warning. No, something else. What then? I enjoyed it. Rubbish. Rubbish your nerves, you're tired. What do you mean by coming here dressed like that? Amateur theatricals? Oh, yes. Entirely. Let me see that uh, hat thing or whatever it is. The fascinating gear they wear. How do you think I would look in this hat? It's damn ridiculous, sir. Yeah, you keep it. What I'm trying to say is I don't think I'm fit for it. Really? What do you think, Dryden? Before he did it, sir, I'd have said it couldn't be done. Brighton? I know what he thinks. I think you should recommend a decoration, sir. I don't think it matters what his motives were. It was a brilliant bit of soldiering. Mr. Perkins! <gasps> Let's have a drink, gentlemen. heard about this, Mr. Perkins? Yes, sir. What do you think about it? Bloody marvellous, sir. 
Well done, sir. Thank you, Mr. Perkins. Sir! Come on, then. You're a clever man, sir. No, but I know a good thing when I see one. That's fair, surely. If I'm going to break through to Jerusalem, I must concentrate, not dissipate. Cloud, you know better. My cloud is, and you fight like sacks. We should do very well indeed, shouldn't we? Gentlemen, please. Uh, will you give us something to drink? Of course, sir. I'm here at the invitation of Major Lawrence. Tracy. Shall we go outside? Hmm. So you'll hold down the Turkish desert army? Yes. With a thousand Arabs. A thousand Arabs means a thousand lives. Delivered anywhere, day or night. It means a thousand camels. That means a thousand packs of high explosive and a thousand crack rifles. We can cross Arabia while Johnny Turk is still turning round. I'll smash his railways. And while he's mending them, I'll smash them somewhere else. In 13 weeks, I can have Arabia in chaos. You are going back then. Yes. Of course, I'm going back. Hmm. Well, if we can see it, so can the Turk. If he finds he's using four divisions to fend off a handful of bandits, he'll withdraw. He daren't withdraw. Arabia's part of his empire. If he gets out now, he knows he'll never get back again. I wonder who will. No one will. Arabia's for the Arabs now. That's what I've told them, anyway. That's what they think. That's why they're fighting. Oh, surely. They've only one suspicion. We'll let them drive the Turks out and then move in ourselves. I've told them that that's false, that we've no ambitions in Arabia. Have we? I'm not a politician, thank God. Have we any ambition in Arabia, Dryden? Difficult question, sir. I want to know, sir, if I can tell them in your name that we've no ambitions in Arabia. Certainly. Two thousand small arms, not enough. I need five. Right. Money. It'll have to be sovereigns. They don't like paper. Right. Instructors for the Lewis guns. Right. More money. How much more? Twenty-five thousand now. A lot more later. Dryden? It can be done, sir. A couple of armoured cars. Right. Field artillery. Right. 
I'm going to give you every blessed thing I can, Major Lawrence, because I know you'll use it. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you for your hospitality, Artillery, sir? I was wondering that, sir. Might be deuce difficult to get it back again. Give them artillery and you've made them independent. Then I can't give them artillery, can I? For you to say, sir. No, it's not. I've got orders to obey, thank God. Not like that poor devil. He's riding the whirlwind. Let's hope we are not. these bags belong to? To Prince Faisal. You're not Prince Faisal by any chance. No. You know him now. He is my master. I am his son. Um, can you read? The Chicago Courier is my own particular paper, but my work is syndicated throughout America. I understood so from your letter, Mr. Bentley. Now, where can I find Major Lawrence? Is that what you've come for? Well, not altogether, sir, no. Well, Mr. Bentley, you will find Major Lawrence with my army. Well, that's what I meant, sir. Where can I find your army? I don't know. Last week they were near El Gira. Gira? Oh, yes. I fear you have a long journey. Can you ride a camel? I, I've never tried. Take a mule. Avoid Malal. The Turks are there. In Malal now? They move fast. They do. But not so fast as we do, you will find. Myself, I am going to Cairo, as you know. Yes. There is work for me there of a different kind. Yes. I understand you've been given no artillery. Now that is so. You're handicapped. It restricts us to small things. It's intended to. Do you know General Allenby? Watch out for Allenby. He's a slim customer. Excuse me? A clever man. Slim customer. Very good. I will certainly watch out for him. You are being very sympathetic, Mr. Bentley. Your Highness, we Americans were once a colonial people, and we naturally feel sympathetic to any people anywhere who are struggling for their freedom. Very gratifying. Also, my interests are the same as yours. You want your story told? I badly want a story to tell. Ah, now you are talking turkey, are you not? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Bentley, I will give you a guide and a letter, and before I leave here, ah, which must be presently, I will have some facts and figures put on paper for you. You know, of course, that we are destroying the Turkish railways. I do, sir. Major Lawrence is in charge of all this, is he? My army is made up of tribes. The tribes are led by the tribal leaders. Well, your people do think very highly of Major Lawrence, though. Oh, yes. And the rightly. In this country, Mr. Bentley, 
The man who gives victory in battle is prized beyond every other man. One figure I can give you from my head, because it never leaves my head. Since starting this campaign four months ago, we have lost 37 wounded, 156 dead. You remark the disproportion between our dead and wounded. Yeah, four times as many. That's because those too badly wounded to bring away, we ourselves kill. We leave no wounded for the Turks. You mean? I mean we leave no wounded for the Turks. In their eyes, we are not soldiers, but rebels. And rebels, wounded or whole, are not protected by the Geneva Code and are treated harshly. How harshly? More harshly than I hope you can imagine. I see. Our own prisoners, Mr. Bentley, are taken care of until the British can relieve us of them according to the code. I should like you to notice that. Yes, sir. Is that the influence of Major Lawrence? Why should you suppose so? Well, it's just that I heard in Cairo that Major Lawrence has a horror of bloodshed. That is exactly so. With Major Lawrence, mercy is a passion. With me, it is merely good manners. You may judge which motive is the more reliable. And now, perhaps... Oh, sure, sure. Thank you, sir. Do you think you'd be able to manage the letter? I'll do everything I have said, Mr. Bentley. If you will tell me truly the nature of your interest in my people and Major Lawrence. It's very simple, sir. I'm looking for a hero. Indeed. You do not seem a romantic man. Oh, no. But certain influential men back home believe that the time has come for America to lend her weight to the patriotic struggle against Germany uh, and Turkey. Now, I've been sent to find material which will show our people that this war is... Uh, Enjoyable? Well, hardly that, sir. But to show it in its more adventurous aspects. You are looking for a figure who will draw your country towards war. All right. Yes. Arins is your man.
Never seen a man killed with a sword before. Why don't you take a picture? Wish I had. How is it with the orange? Oh! Am I in this? Huh? Did you take his picture? Yeah. You are using up your nine lives very quickly. Charming company you keep. Outer? He's a bit old-fashioned. He thinks these things will steal his virtue. He thinks you're a kind of thief. Start if I take your picture? All right. Okay. Just walk. My baby. This looting has got to stop. It is customary. It's theft. And theft makes thieves. I would not say that to Alda. <laughs> it is their payment, Colonel. Payment? Truly are not British soldiers paid? They don't go home when they've been paid. They are not free to. Well, there's another lot you've seen the last of. They'll come back. He says they'll come back. Will they? Not this year, Lawrence. Look, Lawrence, how many men do you think you'll have left? Two hundred? Less. Well, then. I said they'll come back. You badly hurt? Not hurt at all. Didn't you know? They can only kill me with a golden bullet. It is for children. I have set myself to learn again. What are you learning from this? Politics. You're going to be a democracy in this country? You're going to have a parliament? I will tell you that when I have a country. <laughs> Did I answer well? You answered without saying anything. That's politics. You learn quickly. I have a good teacher. Yeah. Yeah. How's it hurt? Fine. Before I return to the flesh pots, which I shall be very glad to do, may I put two questions to you straight? I'd be interested to hear you put a question straight, Mr. Bentley. One. What, in your opinion, do these people hope to gain from this war? They hope to gain their freedom. Freedom. They hope to gain their freedom. There's one born every minute. They're going to get it, Mr. Bentley. I'm going to give it to them. And the second question? Oh. Well, I was going to ask, um, what is it, Major Lawrence, that attracts you personally to the desert? It's clean. Well, now, uh, that's a very illuminating answer. May I... Take one farewell picture. I gave my foot out two lines for it. One block for two lines. 
fair bargain. Hey, I robbed him. Trash. I must find something honorable. Honorable? Yes. The year is running out, right? And... I must find something honorable. <laughs> train. And what will you do now? Oh, now I go home. They will carry my toys. <laughs> they will carry my toys too, do you see? Major Lawrence will campaign this winter. But you've got what you wanted, so you're going home. Is that it? Of course. When Lawrence has got what he wants, he will go home. When you have got what you want, you will go home. Oh, no, I shan't, Alda. And you are a fool. Maybe. I am not a deserter. Give thanks to God, Brighton, that when he made you a fool, he gave you a fool's face. You are an impudent rascal. I must go, Orange, before I soil myself with a fool's blood. Ah! Talking to a brick wall. So, what will you do now? What can you do? I'll go north. That's what Allenby wants, isn't it? Allenby wanted the Arab army behind Dera. Then that's where I'll take it. Tell Allenby to hurry up. Or we'll be in Dera before he's in Jerusalem. Won't we? Train for us. 
Ja, hoor. Hide yourself, my friend. Detonator. All right, fetch another. Pardon, Lawrence. I put There's it in... There's plenty of time. Fetch another. Right, Lawrence, look. If they take him alive, you know what they will do to him. Daoud will be angry with you. Salute him for me. What will you do now? Go oh, north. With 20? What would you recommend me to do, Ali? What would you recommend? Well, he hasn't one tenth so many men, sir. He's lied, in fact. <laughs> yes and no. He doesn't claim to have done anything he hasn't done. Then there is an Arab North army. No, sir, he has lied about that. Any idea why? It's his army, I suppose. It's Prince Faisal's army. Do you think he's gone native, Harry? No. He would if he could. I think. Not my line of country, this, sir. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm just curious. What matters is I believed it. The Turks believe it. They're offering 20,000 pounds for him. <laughs> Good heavens. Yeah. Shouldn't say he'd long to live, would you? Well, whatever else, sir, he's a brave man. Well, surely, surely. If he's still going north with 50 men, he doesn't lack guts. I wonder if they'd offer that much for me. What about next year? Will they still come back? Well, I wouldn't be surprised. They think he's a kind of prophet. They do, or he does. Now may I speak? Yes. Or once one more failure, and you will find yourself alone. I do not include myself. I do not include the others. So say they love you. The more reason to be thrifty with them. Give them something to do that can be done, but you, no, no, they must move mountains for you. They must walk on water. That's right. That's right. Who are you to know what can be done? If we'd done what you thought could be done, we'd be back in Yenbo now and nowhere. Whatever I ask them to do can be done, that's all. They know that if you don't. Do you think I'm just anybody, Ali? Do you? My friends, who will walk on water with me? 
Who will come with me into Dera? Dera is garrisoned. Will you take 20 against 2,000? I'll go by myself if I have to. Why? Because I told the English generals the Arab revolt would be in Dera when they would be in Jerusalem. Or perhaps you are here for the English generals. Who says this? Rumor. <coughs> that is not an argument. Oh, argument. This afternoon, I will take the Arab revolt into Dera while the Arabs argue. Lawrence, can you pass for an Arab in an Arab town? Yes, if one of you would lend me some dirty clothes. What are you looking for? Some way to announce myself. Be patient with him, God. <laughs> Do you not see how they look at you? Come! Peace, Ali. I am invisible. Help! Walk on. Walk on. You! And you! No. Ipsy. Yalla! Blue eyes. I say you have blue eyes. Yes, Effendi. Are you Circassian? Yes, Effendi. How old are you? Twenty-seven, Effendi. I, I think. You look older. You have had a lot of experience. It's an interesting face. I'm surrounded by cattle. He wouldn't know an interesting face from a sow's belly. I have been in Dara now for three and a half years. If they posted me to the dark side of the moon, I could not be more isolated. You haven't the least idea of what I'm talking about, have you? No, Fendi. Have you? No. That would be too lucky. <coughs> Where did you get that? Oh, uh... It's old, Fendi. No, no. 
This is recent. You are a deserter. No, Effendi. Yes, you are a deserter. But from which army? Not that it matters at all. A man cannot be always in uniform. Your skin is very fair. Sleep. Eat. Eat. You have a body like other men. Good. 
then sleep. Better? Much better. You are right. Rest, rest. Can you not learn? Oh, I've learned, all right. I'm going, Ali. Why? Why? Heavens. Why? I've come to the end of myself, I suppose. And the end of the Arab revolt? I'm not the Arab revolt, Ali. I'm not even Arab. A man can be whatever he wants. You said. I'm sorry. I thought it was true. You proved it. Look, Ali. Look. That's me. What color is it? That's me. And there's nothing I can do about it. A man can do whatever he wants. You said. He can. But he can't want what he wants. This is the stuff that decides what he wants. You may as well know. I would have told them anything. I would have told them who I am. I would have told them where you were. I tried to. So would any man. Well, any man is what I am. And I'm going back to Allenby to ask him for a job that any man can do. Allenby's in Jerusalem. I'll make easy stages. You? Oh, yes. Easy stages. Look, Ali. I think I see a way of being just ordinarily happy. And I take this. It is not clean. No. But it's warm. And these? Having led them here, have you no care for them? You lead them. They're yours. Trust your own people. And let me go back to mine. <laughs> Hey, don't forget those form five. All right. Hey. Mind if I join you? Oh. Honored, sir. Good to be back. We heard you, were, sir. What's doing out there? Well. Oh, Arabia. Oh, yes, sir. Nothing much. Wrong time of year. What's doing here? We're settling in all right, sir. We've built a squash court. Jolly good. Well, I have to go up there. It's borrowed. Someone pinched mine. Bloody wogs. Yes, probably. Jolly good about the squash court. Lays it on a bit thick, doesn't it? Good to be back. I'll believe you, sir. No, really, it is. Hello. Morning. You're to go right in. Lawrence. Or is it Major Lawrence? Well, General, I will leave you. Major Lawrence Douglas has reports to make about my people and their weakness and the need to keep them weak in the British interest. And the French interest, too, of course. 
We must not forget the French now. I told you, sir, no such treaty exists. Yes, General, you have lied most bravely, but not convincingly. I know this treaty does exist. Treaty, sir? He does it better than you, General. But then, of course, he is almost an Arab. You really don't know? Then what the devil's this? It's my request for release from Arabia, sir. For what reason? Are you sure you haven't heard of the Sykes-Picot Treaty? No. I can guess. Don't guess. Tell him. Well, now, Mr. Sykes is an English civil servant. Mr. Pico is a French civil servant. Mr. Sykes and Mr. Pico met, and they agreed that after the war, France and England should share the Turkish Empire, including Arabia. They signed an agreement. Not a treaty, sir. An agreement to that effect. There may be honor among thieves, but there's none in politicians. And let's have no displays of indignation. You may not have known, but you certainly had suspicions. If we've told lies, you've told half lies. And a man who tells lies, like me, merely hides the truth. But a man who tells half lies has forgotten where he put it. The truth is I'm an ordinary man. You might have told me that, Dryden. And I want an ordinary job, sir. That's my reason for resigning. It's personal. Personal? Yes, sir. Personal? You're a serving officer in the field. And as it happens, a damned important one. Personal? Are you mad? No. And if you don't mind, I'd rather not go mad. That's my reason, too. Look, Lawrence. I'm making my big push on Damascus the 16th of next month, and you are part of it. Can you understand that? You're an important part of the big push. I don't want to be part of your big push. What about your Arab friends? What about them? I have no Arab friends. I don't want Arab friends. What in hell do you want, Lawrence? I told you. I just want my ration of common humanity. Lawrence. Yes. Nothing. Uh, sorry I interrupted, sir. Well, that's quite all right. Thank you, Mr. Dryden. Thank you, sir. But why don't we... There's blood on your back. Do you want a doctor? No. Tell me what happened. So what goes on in there? Nothing. Oh, come on! No, really. Nothing at all. Is the man in trouble? I expect so. We all have troubles. Life's a veil of troubles. Just let me know if the man's in trouble. I've got an interest in that man. I've got a claim. What claim? You've read my stuff. I've made that boy a hero. When the war's over, that boy can be anything he wants. Yes. Well, at the moment, he wants to be somebody else. Will you kindly allow me to pass? Walk away, Dryden. Walk away. Always walking away, aren't you? Well, I'll tell you. It's a little clash of temperament that's going on in there. Inevitably. One of them's half mad, and the other wholly unscrupulous. I believe your name will be a household word. When you'd have to go to the War Museum to find who Allaby was. You're the most extraordinary man I ever met. Leave me alone. Well, leave me alone. Well, that's a feeble thing to say. I know. I'm not ordinary. That's not what I'm saying. All right. I'm extraordinary. What of it? Not many people have a destiny, Lawrence. It's a terrible thing for a man to funk it if he has. Are you speaking from experience? No. You're guessing, then. Suppose you're wrong. Why suppose that? We both know I'm right. Yes. After all... I said yes. The 16th. Can you do it? I'll give you a lot of money. Artillery? I can't. They won't be coming for money, not the best of them. 
They'll be coming for Damascus. Which I'm going to give them. That's all I want. All you want is someone holding down the Turkish right. But I'm going to give them Damascus. We'll get there before you do. And when we've got it, we'll keep it. You can tell the politicians to burn their bit of paper now. Fair enough. Fair. What's fair got to do with it? It's going to happen. I shall want quite a lot of money. All there is. Not that much. The best of them won't come for money. They'll come for me. No pictures. You take no pictures. It's not for you, she got It's for Major Lawrence. He doesn't mind having his picture taken. He doesn't mind at all. Well, there's only one order. Have you met Major Lawrence since he's come back, Sharif? Yes. Changed, hasn't he? No. Oh, I'd say he had. Different man, I'd say. What did that Turkish general do to him in Durak? He was the same man after Durak. The same man. Humbled. What did the English general do to him in Jerusalem? Search me. Ask Lawrence. I did. What did he say? He laughed. He told me to gather the Harris here. He offered me money. Did you take it? No. Many did. This is my bodyguard. There's not a man there without a price on his head. There's a price on my head, too. But these are murderers. You know, the sheikhs will hang these men. These men are mine. Lawrence, these things know nothing of the Arab revolt. You, Gitan of Aleppo. Sharif? Where do we ride? Damascus, Sharif. Aye, but for what? Mm. Sharif, for our ends. Mm. You have bought these things. I bought half the men here, Ali. That is different. These are not ordinary men. I don't want ordinary men. Gentlemen, the camera has gone through Masriel and Dera. Uh, very good, by the way, very good indeed. Now, your turn. Both, uh, if the enemy is retreating in any kind of order, which we'd better assume, certainly, he can't be further than this Mallard place. In which case, I can have him within range by uh, 0900 hours tomorrow. Ready. Philip. Well, these are the last infantry supports going up now, sir. But Mallard could have the fusiliers there by Wednesday, sir. That'll do for now. The guns are what matter. Any questions? This Arab army on the right, sir. What's it consist of? Irregular cavalry, sir. About 2,000. Where are they now? You can only know that by being with them, sir. Then get with them, Harry. I want to know. Yes, sir. Pound them, Charlie. Pound them.
God help the men who lie under that. They are Turks. God help them. between his teeth all right. Cocky? More than cocky, sir. He's got the bit between his teeth. All right. I tell you, sir, I think he'll get to Damascus before we do. Unless... Unless? Well, there's a Turkish column in front of him, out of Masriel. What did the Turks have in Masriel? A brigade, sir. I wonder where they are now. Damascus orders. Oh. Or else, not this. Go round. Damascus orders. Damascus. No prisoners. This was Talal's village.
Jesus wept. Jesus wept. Does it surprise you, Mr. Bentley? Surely you know the Arabs are a barbarous people, barbarous and cruel. Who but they? Who but they? Oh, you rotten man. Here, let me take your rotten bloody picture. For the rotten bloody newspapers. You were cast last night, Orans, in Damascus. Damascus! Take them to Sheriff Ali. Tell him. Remind. Is Alan Bay in Damascus? Yeah. Tell Sheriff Ali that. <laughs> they are not right. <laughs> Lawrence, the whole town is blasted with the out of plan. Well, a day and a night, sir. They've been here a day and a night. They've occupied the town, sir. They've done it. He set up his own headquarters in the town hall. What else beside the town hall? Telephone exchange, post office, powerhouse, hospitals, fire station, everything's up. They call themselves the Arab National Council, and they're in the town hall. Well, they're uh, your pigeon, Harry. What do you think we should do about it? Well, get them out of it, sir. Quick time. How about that, Dryden? Not unless you want a full-scale rising on your hands, huh? Well, what then? When will Prince Faisal be in Damascus? By special train in two days' time. Two days? Two days is what you asked me for. I can't keep him out any longer. Isn't it enough? Yes. Ample, I should think. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, sir, we can't just do nothing. Why not? It's usually best. Uh, get us something to drink, Tracy. Yes, sir. And Tracy, all troops to remain quartered until further orders. Yes, sir. Does that apply to technical units, sir? Technical units particularly. Yes, sir. Medicals too, sir? I'm afraid so, Harry. Medicals too. Neither Harith, nor Hawaitat, nor any other tribe but Arabs at the Arab Council acting for Prince Faisal. He insulted me. Sheriff Ali said that the telephones were in the care of the Hawaitat and that the telephones had ceased to work. And this is true, Alder. They will not work because they are given no electricity. The electricity is in the care of the Harith. <laughs> If you answer, there'll be bloodshed. You speak to me of bloodshed. I ask pardon of Oda Butai. Humbly. Humbly, Harry. Yes, humbly. This is a new trick. Why is there no electricity? I have been to that electrical house, Soros. There are three large machines. He means generators. So, one of them is burned. They are of an incredible size, but <laughs> helpless. It is so of all machines. Let them burn. What need of telephones? The need is absolute. Then we need the English engineers. No. Take English engineers and you take English government. Take... Fire has broken out. Where? The Chinsibi district. It is not a district that matters. It will spread. Then in God's name, use the fire brigade. We have tried our ends, but there is no force in the water. Then you must carry it. The Ruella do not carry water. What else are they good for? I'm going to take this up after the war. Surely we should do something, sir. It's an old man's sport. Are you an old man, sir? Mm. Well, all I can say is, sir, it's a heavy responsibility. I'm sorry, sir. Maybe it's the bow. No, sir. It's the power. Leaving, sir. That's it then. Marvelous looking beggars, aren't they? What is it? 
Is it this? I tell you, this is nothing. Is it the blood? The desert has dried up more blood than you could think of. I pray that I may never see the desert again. Hear me, God. You will come. There is only the desert for you. What about you, Ali? I shall stay here and learn politics. That's a very low occupation. I had no thought of it when I met you. You tried very hard to give us Damascus. It's what I came for. And then... It would be something. Yes. Much. He is your friend. Your hand away. You love him. No, I fear him. And why do you weep? I fear him. Would love him. How must he fear himself who hates himself? Take your hand away! Hoi that! Oh. So you are not yet entirely politician? Not yet. Well, these are new tricks, and I am an old dog. And Allah be thanked. I'll tell thee what, though. Being an Arab will be thornier than you suppose. Hurry! In all my years as a medical officer, I've never seen anything like it. It comes within the jurisdiction of the Arab Council. I'm sorry, sir. Under the circumstances, I think I must take over. Immediately. Under any circumstances at all, you must obey your orders. No, sir. I will not. Control yourself. Now go over to the town hall and see what they say. We did what we could in the civic hospital. But you forgot the Turkish military hospital. Yes. It has 600 beds. There are about 2,000 Turkish wounded in it, all of whom are the responsibility of your precious Arab council. What's it like? Oh. 
my friend Orens, if I may call him that, my friend Orens. How many men will claim the right to use that phrase? How proudly. He longs for the greenness of his native land. He pines for the uh, Gothic cottages of uh, Surrey, is it not? Already in imagination he catches trout and uh, all the activities of the English gentleman. That's me you're describing, sir, not Colonel Lawrence. You're promoted Colonel. Yes. What for? Take the honor, Colonel. Be a little kind. As a colonel, you'll have a cabin to yourself on the boat home. Then, thank you. <clears throat> well then, Godspeed. Uh, there's nothing further here for a warrior. We drive bargains, old men's work. Young men make wars, and the virtues of war are the virtues of young men. Courage and hope for the future. Then old men make the peace. <laughs> and the vices of peace are the vices of old men. Mistrust and caution. It must be so. <clears throat> what I owe you is beyond evaluation. <clears throat> the powerhouse, the telephone exchange, these I concede. The pumping plant I must retain. If you retain the pumping plant, there'll be no water, sir. I shall be glad of any technical assistance. In fairness, then, you must bring down your flag. I shall not bring down my flag, and if your men attempt it, my men will resist it. Have you any men, sir? Enough for that. It's the kind of thing that makes a very ugly incident. I'm sure your government does not wish to appear at the peace conference in the light of an aggressor. I say! It's Lawrence, isn't it? Well, may I shake your hand, sir? Just want to be able to say I've done it, sir. Haven't we met before? Don't think so, sir. <laughs> no, sir, I should have remembered that. It is widely known the Arab Council took power in my name. They have no power, sir. It's illusory. Illusions can be very powerful, particularly when they take this form. The world is delighted at the picture of Damascus liberated by the Arab army. Led, may I remind you, sir, by a British serving officer. Ah, yes. But then Orange is a sword with two edges. We are equally glad to be rid of him, are we not? I thought I was a hard man, sir. You are merely a general. I must be a king. Excuse me, sir. Well? Well, it seems we are to have a British waterworks with an Arab flag on it. Do you think it was worth it? Not my business. Thank God I'm a soldier. Yes, sir. So you keep saying. You, I suspect, are chief architect of this compromise. What do you think? Me, Your Highness? On the whole, I wish I'd stayed in Tunbridge Wells.
Ghana. Aung San. 